so guys this is how to count it if you watch this one here you see that uh, this one is nine coaches if you count it from beginning one two three four five six seven eight then the one down nine nine then before partitioning if you count it you see that is one two three four five six can you see six part hello guys you're yeah, welcome back to my channel is the one and only girl I'm Claire Fina. You are welcome to my channel. If today is your first day of coming, you're highly welcome. Thank you for coming by. Please subscribe before you go and help us to share the video. Click on the like button so that those who have not found us can easily find us. And for my returning subscribers, may God continue to bless you for always supporting this channel. Uh, so many of you have requested for the video on fencing. So today, I've decided to make that video for you guys to explain it better. I've made video on fencing before, but it seems you people do not really get the explanation I gave on that video. So I decided to come today. Today I'm going to explain um, how to calculate your blocks, your cement, and uh, everything you need for your fencing. And I'm working with 100 by 100 meter land. Um, that is what I'm going to teach you guys. Please don't forget to share this video if you find it helpful share it that is the only way you can support me here share it if you are watching it on premiere please don't forget to click on that dollar sign when you click on the live chat um, uh, message you will see a dollar sign by the right I just help me to click on that dollar sign and choose whatever card you feel like sending to me even if it's under naira own it's something you can buy me a time okay that is the easiest way you can support me so thank you so much while we go ahead with this video uh, i'm standing before a fence as you can see and i'm going to use it to calculate for you tell you how you can calculate it is nine inches but i'm, I'm going to explain with six inches for you but i'm just here to make you understand you see this this place this one they casted it because this place uh, is is very close to water that is why they had to cast this uh, partition they casted it and if you had to cast it it will cost you it, it will cost you more because of the cement the sand and the everything then how to calculate it you see blocks this is one two three four five is six plus this one here there is more here the normal of it is six maybe because of the casting the normal of it is six for nine inches then if you are using six inches you are going to use a t uh, nine of it instead of six it will be nine blocks nine blocks then here if you are not casting maybe your place your land is not in a swampy place if you are not casting your partition here yeah, six inches five inches they will use two blocks mainly some use one but the explanation i'm going to give you today is with two so when you have a nine here with the two that you are using for the partitioning it means you are having 10 i'm uh, sorry 11 blocks per partition for one line then if you, then you calculate by how many coaches or block you want to be you know some people if they just want to uh, secure a land they might even put up just five five coaches six six but even four four coaches unless uh, those who want to raise it up like this one it was 10 10 then they, they later still increased it up so it depends but i'm going to work with nine coaches of block i'm going to work with nine coaches of block how you are going to calculate it if you are going to use nine nine coaches remember with six inches we have 11 here why with nine inches we have seven six here one two three four five six then the one you will use for the for the partitioning making is seven 
so if it's nine inches you are having seven then if you are going for uh, nine coaches you will multiply seven by nine to get how many blocks you are to use per partition i hope i'm flowing that is how you get how many blocks you need per partition so now we are going for six inches block this six inches block or oh, it's still the same thing if you are going for nine coaches or block all you need to do is to multiply that uh, uh, 11 remember we had 11 for six inches we calculated normal block should be nine then i am not giving you i'm not explaining with the one they cast i'm explaining with the ball so if you are if your land is in a swampy area you can as well get in this get this info but you should bear in mind that you are going to cast you are not going to use so instead of using uh, 11 blocks for six inches you are going to use nine blocks then you cast i hope you are getting it if your land is in a swampy area you are not going to use 11 blocks by nine coaches if you are going for nine coaches is to be 99 blocks so if you are going for nine po coaches for six inches blocks we are having 99 blocks per partition but if your land is in a swampy area and it's very close to water like this one you are not going to go for that 99 blocks you are going for nine times nine are you getting it which is uh how many uh 81 right if i'm not mistaken so you are going for 81 blocks per partition then casting that is if you are going to cast your partition is 81 blocks then casting per partition and in 100 meter land we normally use we have like 9 to 10 partitioning so let's work with 10 partitioning. When you count it, it will give you 10 partition. So if you are working without casting, because that is what I'm going to explain. I'm not explaining with casting. I just have to chip in there so that the, those who have land in a swampy place can also understand. So instead of going for 99 blocks, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, one partition will give you 99 blocks. So if you're having 10 partitions, you are going to multiply that 99 by 10, which is 990 blocks for one line. Remember that in the land, you will fence the right side, the left side, the back side, then the front. So we are going for... Uh, for one line like the right side of it you are spending up to 990 blocks with six inches blocks 990 blocks so when you multiply it like now we are going for uh 100 by 100 so you are having 100 by the right 100 by the left 100 at the right uh, back then 100 in the front which is now four of those hundred hundred four plane to four places so you will multiply nine nine hundred and ninety blocks times four it's true it might not be up to because in front place in your frontage you are going to have gates so that space for gates is another minus of blocks because you are not going to put up blocks there but we are still going to work with complete blocks you get it so that uh, no matter how it breaks no matter the damages no matter anything you should expect something like that to come so when you multiply 990 by 4 you are having 3960 blocks do you get that for your fencing of six inches with uh, sorry of uh, nine coaches with six inches blocks you should expect 3960 blocks you get that it is not going to be up to if your blocks did not break but definitely one or two must break so just expect that but anything from 3009 should go 
then uh one bag of cement when you after putting up the blocks sorry before the putting up of blocks i i jumped something you know that uh, before starting your fencing the first thing you are to do is to dig the foundation the excavation so you are going to add that the digging the digging might cost us like 70 to uh, ninety thousand depends on your area and how deep you want it to go let's just work with seventy thousand it can even cost you like fifty thousand so it depends on where you are and how deep you want it to go some places the church permits i've been saying it that they will they would uh, dig a meter with 500 naira so it depends it depends on the place so let's work with uh, 500 I'm uh, sorry uh, 50,000 naira but it can be more than depending on your area if it's a swampy area you're going to make it deep you see so after that digging of the foundation what next is the blinding the blinding in blinding you will need cement you will need sharp sand you will need granite you will need uh, water in all of them you need water in fencing is mainly bricklayers work so in all of them you will need water but this one we are not working with uh, swampy land so we are not talking about a very deep foundation it's not it's not going to be up to three so now let's work with fifty thousand naira after that the blinding after the blinding comes the putting up of blocks which i've just explained to you and remember why putting up blocks you are going to chuck them this is it when you hear chucking of blocks is this holding the blocks together this the sand is quite different from the sand they use for the casting they use sharp sand for casting and this is chucking uh, sand to use just the sand and the cement so you are going to normally normally i think from the beginning of this year since i started uploading videos this year i've been explaining to you people that uh, to six inches block to chalk to chalk six inches block uh one bar can chalk up to um, up to 50 blocks in six inches blocks yes can chalk from 50 to 60 or so 50 to 60 blocks why in nine inches is i think it's 45 to 50 or so so now as you are working with six inches blocks let's assume that one bag of cement will be able to choke uh 60 blocks you can choke up to 65 even 70 so it depends but let's work with 60 blocks if you are working with 60 blocks then we are looking at 66 bags of cement how remember because i know you ask remember that i say that um one if uh, one partition will take you like 99 blocks and we are looking at 10 partition per per or per side or per lane how will i put it by one side we are looking at 10 partition which is 990 blocks all together we are looking at 3600 and um, 3960 blocks now if you say 60 blocks one bar can chalk 60 blocks you have to divide 3960 by that 60 for you to know how many bags of cement you are looking at for the chucking of the block so when you must when you divide it you are looking at 66 bags do you get that you are looking at 66 bags just for the chucking of the block then for the blinding you should be looking at 35 to 40 bags for blinding of the foundation 35 to 60 bags of cement will go then for the after the the putting of the blocks the next thing is the is the coping or capping some people call it capping some call it coping this one is not being capped the casting they normally do at the edge the end of the block that does not just to is not just to beautify the fence it helps to hold the block 
it helps to hold the block from falling so it's very very necessary this place we have not done that we are yet to do it but we are still going to do it as you can see it's not been capped so for that casting of it you should be looking at maybe like 45 bags of cement for that because they are going to cap it round they are going to cast it round everywhere so maybe like 45 to 50 bucks but let's work with 45 bucks okay so now when you look at the bag how many bags are we now looking at for blinding of the foundation and the casting of the calves we are looking at let's say 85 85 bags of cement that is 40 bags we are using 40 bags for blinding then 45 for casting which makes it it's five bags of cement for this then plastering now we are talking about plastering plastering of this size of land will take you um will take up to 55 to 60 bags of cement if no more depending on the missing man or the bricklayer so plastering will take up to 50 let's just work with um 58 let's work with 58 bags of cement so if plastering is going to take up to 58 bags of cement we are looking at in total 207 bags let's just approximate it to 210 bags of cement for you to fence 100 by 100 land size of land you are looking at 210 bags of cement for the blinding of the foundation for the chalking of the blocks for the plastering and for the casting of the uh cap you are looking at 210 bags of cement then when you come to workmanship these days most places it's not everywhere anyway but most pl places have been saying it they charge per block so it's easy to calculate these days if the charge per block like some places six inches as we are working with six inches they will charge you 14 naira per one per one block if it's nine inches like this one that we are facing here it will cost you like um 16 naira per block so if you are working with 200 um sorry if you are working with 3960 blocks you will multiply it by 40 when you multiply 40 by 3960 you are having 158,400 naira remember it's not going to be up to that because the blocks will not be up to that by his grace no matter how it break it's not going to be up to, up to that because of your gates your entrance sometimes you will still have small gates at the back some people do that some don't so all those gates is another minus of blocks for you but we are working with complete block that we are needed with that will be needed so if we are working with that 3960 by 40 naira we are looking at 148 400 148 400 approach let's just approximate it to 160,000 naira then when you come to cement the the brick layer sometimes they charge per bag like when casting when decking casting your decking or dpc something like that they charge per, ba per bag of cement it's not everywhere as well but some places they do it but i calculated with that one bag they will charge you like 700 naira now we are looking we remember we said that we are looking at 210 bags of cement it might not be up to remember that all we are working with is with excess so that not when you expect one million you end up spending 1.5 that is why we work with excess so that when you are expecting two million you might end up working with 1.8 and that will be smiling your face so if we are working with 210 bags of cement you multiply it by 700 which is the charges for one bag and when you do that you are going to have um sorry we are not going to multiply the whole 210 because some of it was used for choking of uh choking of uh, blocks 
and you know that i've charged 40 naira for that so we are only going to work with the cement used for casting blinding and plastering which is 140 bucks so when you multiply that 700 by 140 bucks of cement you are having 98,000 naira let's just approximate it to 100,000 that is 100,000 naira okay so when you add up that uh, 160 for block talking of blocks and the uh, 100,000 for casting blinding and plastering we are having 260,000 for workmanship from the bricklayer side the, the work mainly for fencing is is, is for bricklayers carpenter just have little work to do during capping and uh, if you are to cast like this one capital will also be needed then um, for iron bender if you are your land is in a swampy area you'll be needing the iron bender to come and put up the iron and if you are to cast like this as well the iron bender will be needed if you are to cast like this the iron bender will be needed because there is an iron inside so we are, we are not working with that so now we have um in summary we have 210 bags of cement cement presently is sold at the rate of 4500 so when you multiply that 210 by 4500 you're having like 945,000 naira. then you'll be using some trips of staff sand like two trips You'll be using some tons of granite as well for the blinding and the casting of the cap and if you are to cast like this as well then you'll be needing some waters you'll be needing some troops of shocking sand you'll be needing some troops of plastering sand as well then the workmanship which is 260 we have calculated that already then um Carpenter will be needed for sure when you are capping, unless if you don't want to cap your fence, you won't be needing carpenter at all. If you are not capping and you are not casting the partition, then you don't need carpenter as well. But we need carpenter because we are calculating with the capping. So carpenter will also be there. You won't be needing much of planks because uh, we are talking about 10 partition in a row. So if it's 10, though, to fasten things, you can just get like. If it's 10 now, you can get like 20 to 25 planks. But to fasten things, I just calculate with 40 planks. So if you are going with that 40 planks by 1, 2. But during capping, they used to cut it. They used to cut the planks in sizes. So it depends. So let's just work with 40 planks. When we work with 40 planks, we are looking at 48,000 naira. Then the nails that will be used for that bags of nails is 13,000 but I, I fear if they are going to use up to bags so we are going you know they use different sizes anyway so I calculated just one bag even if it's half of three inches half of four inches anyhow they are using it I calculated just one bag here so when you add it up we are having one point approximately 1.8 million naira for this 1.8 million naira and when you add up the money for for your supervisor your engineer and all that you, you'll be looking at 2 million naira so when you have a hundred by hundred land to face you should just put down 2 million naira by the side that is all I can tell you just put down 2 million naira by the side you might not spend up to that yes there is every possibility you might not spend up to that there is every possibility you might spend up to that so it depends on how your area the, the land is the type of soil we are working with and the, the area because the charges differ there are some places they will just come how much will you use to do this they will charge you and they will charge you 200 instead of 260 we are getting they might charge you 150 depends on your area but just look at two million naira for this i hope this video will be very helpful to you and i hope that as it's helpful you're going to help me to share it as well so that those who need to search information can get it from here 
and nowhere else and don't forget to click on the like button and also join us on the instagram page at m claire buildings and on our tiktok page at m claire for we thank you for watching i really appreciate that god continue to bless you all share it all share this video thank you see you next time our our videos will be coming by 12 p.m nigerian time on premiere please find out time for your girl to watch and drop some cards for me may god bless you always bye this is how the capping looks like this is just the normal one it has different designs as you can see so when you get to gate you know it has to be casted as well like this you see it so it's been casted and there is the second one so all this will take you granite, cement, water and sand for this stay tuned help to share the video and like the video thank you